Hey guys, I'm Archer Master here. Today, I'm gonna do ladder let's go. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please definitely should. I know it's right after the video starts, but can I chat with you? Today, I was trying to decide what to have for dinner and finally had shabu, shabu. Shabu shabu is traditionally made with thinly sliced beef. Maybe people haven't had it because it's Japanese food, but it's really good. I said beef, but it was like sliced pork, too. You put the meat in the pot and cook it, but it's sliced and really thin, so you can eat it forever. I was able to eat unlimited amounts of food during the 100-minute course, but I was hungry at the beginning, so it was easy for me to eat. I don't know what it is, but as time goes on, it gets really painful. And in the end, I couldn't eat it at all. Is there an all-you-can-eat course in everyone's country? Like a Viking in the common sense of the word. I'm too skinny and have a small stomach for that kind of thing. Sorry to talk about something unrelated. I'm gonna back to Clash Royale. Maybe I'm saying this in yesterday's video, but the second round expo is so much better against log bait decks. Logs for barrels, we wanna hit the princess with fireballs as much as possible to earn damage. Well, sort of. When the elixir is accumulated, I'm gonna up out the archer. Here's something I'd like everyone to do. Most people would put the expo on the right side, but I put it on the left. Why? Because if you put it on the right side, the expo and the archer would be cut off by log at the same time, and that's a waste. On the other hand, if you put the expo on the left, the opponent have to use some unit or spell on the archer, and have to put out a rocket or something against the expo, so you can confuse your opponent. That, and simply because you can avoid the logs reducing the HP of archers and expo. This place looks locked, so hit the logs. Since I had no logs in my hand and the elixir advantage was taken, I figured he would definitely put the princess in front of the bridge, so I put a skeleton in the middle and predicted it. I got in a little bit damage, but as a result I got the damage advantage. Like I said before, put the archer out on the right and the axe bow on the left. It depends on the deck, though, whether you do or don't. If your opponent has a fireball or rocket in his hand, you attack like this. My opponent's timing with his princesses was fucking great, but my timing with my E spirit was also fucking great, so I was able to reduce the tower's HP quite a bit. If we can reduce the number of HP to this level, then we can focus on defense and go on the offensive when there is an opening. He has been on a rocket cycle, so I'm gonna attack this one. One thing to note here is to put Tesla first, otherwise, it could be predictable. Log bait is all melee attack except Princess, and with Tesla, you wait until they move or the elixir builds up, but this will earn damage to the tower, so I hit the fireball. We will attack to prevent rocket cycles. At this time, if the defense fails, the tower will be rocketed, so let's defend it desperately. I think there was an elixir to night out, but maybe they got lost. We all know how to move against law bait, right? Let's go next game. Nexus is famous for its expo player. His deck is AQ Expo, but it's a rocket, not a fireball, so I'm actually really bad at this. I don't know if it's a good matchup or not so much, but I can't beat it at all. But the cycle is heavy, so it must be a good matchup. This is also like going to lock with the second round expo, that the opponent will defense expo at that time, so if the opponent put it down, hit the fireball against it to reduce their and tower HP more and more. But I've used too much elixir, and I'm afraid of the counter. I'd like to minimize this for this AQ. Skeleton, and he speared out pretty high. It was pretty big to be able to protect this one. Basically, if the elixir advantage is taken, 
It's mainly defensive but Yeah, they've got a solid unit coming out of the back, so I'm gonna attack on the left side. It's a big deal that we did about 400 damage. I mean Nexpo is still totally strong, right? When the king level was still 13, it was seriously bad enough when you hit a rocket and it reduced the tower by about 600. Even with all the nerfing, I still get about 350 when the opponent get hit by a rocket, so there are a certain number of people who say buff it, but I don't think there's any need to. If the Supercell nerf the other cards rather than the Expo deck, it's not a problem against Expo. Knight Tesla is fine. We can connect the Expo to this, so it's crazy strong. But I guess this is just a rocket. If you attack in this state, it is easy to lock because there are no rockets or Valkyries in my opponent's hand. Tornado like this will change the target to Expo as high as possible. Archer's here. He's gonna protect it with a Tesla next to this one, and I predict that's what I'm gonna do. Unfortunately, Expo cycle. If you put a knight out here, maybe, but I don't think he'll be pulled off by the tornado, and you can delay the time it takes for him to get to his opponent's position or field. Ignore the right for now. Left, protect with knight. Reduce the opponent's HP here with Fireball. And logs for Expo. He played Rocket but it's okay. They're going to attack us this turn. And we're gonna have to defend ourselves well. He's gonna play Nauto. So put out unit high up. I'm gonna defend it with fireball and logs. Defense Expo here. They won't destroy it with a rocket, so you can leave the whole thing behind if you prolong its life perfectly. And this gonna be Expo here. Wow, it took it about 500 damage. It's really nice. The defense in front of the bridge is not very good and should not be done. Triple time should never be done. Attack here to prevent the opponent from hitting the tower with rockets. If you attack on the right, you'll be protected at low cost. So this gonna attack on both sides. E-Spirit, Skeleton. And Knight here. Fireball. Yeah, that's perfect game. Maybe I didn't make a single mistake, right? Next than last match. It's pretty funny, so you guys should watch it. This is the last game. That's a crazy low trophy. I won't get more than a little trophy for winning. And the opponent deck is a Royal Recruits deck, so I despaired. It's a winning matchup, but I haven't won much lately. I'm gonna protect it with Fireball. If it looks like Tesla won't be able to get there in time, I think it's okay to protect it with Fireball. Anyway, let's go Expo. Knight here and logs. 
The only time to lock is when there are no royal recruits in the opponent's hand. Or it's not a bad idea to just protect it. Because my friend has about 8200 trophies and he didn't attack. He defended all the time, so maybe that's a good thing. But in my case, I don't feel like I can defend, so I go on the offensive. If you don't win no matter how many times you attack, maybe you should try playing defense all the time for once. This one I attacked in anticipation of my opponent coming up with a zappy. I'm going to tell you something that some of you may not know. If you overlap with a certain fur cost unit, the 7 cost unit can't get out in time, it can't get out. However, this only works until it get to double time. Archers are too good. Seriously, I think my archer is doing a great job. Only my archer is level 15. Fireball for now. The only time we can shut out a Tesla is when we're in a stance. Expo in the middle. Predict the frying machine. It didn't come, but it's okay. Fireball to frying machine. It's tough when it's reduced so much. I'd change Expo's target by doing the unit on the edge with a skeleton. Maybe the opponent figured that out and put Zappy in the middle at the best time. Defend here with Expo. I want to protect this place and then attack. Let's go Expo. I should have predicted the goblin cage, but I wasn't thinking that far ahead. Let's go Expo and... Yeah, that was pretty good. Barbarian is targeted by Knight. Defense Expo here. Predict the frying machine with archers and destroy it with fireball. They're using the elixir like crazy. So I'm gonna attack on the left side. Fireball to the right tower. Fireball again. Tesla high up. Log and Fireball. OMG. I didn't think I could win. Shocking even for me. I made it to top 8 like this. Yeah. I'll close the video now. Died.